The ASTM E119 test is being administered on a series of wall assemblies. Two gypsum walls and one made of autoclaved aerated concrete, or AAC block, a masonry product. We take the assembly as it would be constructed in the field, and we're exposing it, in this case, for two-hour duration to a prescribed time temperature curve, which will see temperatures in excess of 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit within that two-hour time frame. Once we've exposed that assembly to the fire, we will move that away from the furnace. We will then face the exposed side of that assembly towards a fire water hose stream application, a typical fire department hose stream at approximately 30 PSI. Let's see what happens to a fire rated gypsum wall. This is what's left of a two hour fire rated sheetrock wall. Now the ASTM E119 test is repeated on high impact gypsum. Many building materials are classified as fire resistive, meaning they will burn if they get hot enough. These materials may be fire rated for one or two hours, but as you will see, that designation can be very misleading. Masonry products don't need a second chance. They can pass E119 the first time around without any problem. See for yourself. This masonry wall of autoclaved aerated concrete has been subjected to the same temperature curve as the gypsum wall. After the full two hours, the physical condition of the masonry wall is excellent and strong. When the fire hose is turned on, the wall maintains its integrity. The hose stream test only cleans the masonry wall. As you can see between the comparison test between a gypsum wall assembly and a wall assembly such as this, they, the performance is dramatic. That is, this wall was able to withstand the fire exposure for two hours and then immediately face that water impact. And when we did that, this wall held up.